Hi everyone, I'm Will, and today is day two of surviving seven days on wild food. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below, and share it. If you haven't seen day one, click up above on the playlist, or down in the description below, to start at the beginning. Let's go have a good day. Now today, for breakfast, Brian and I are going to like basically have some leftovers from yesterday's breakfast. So it is, so it was the cranberry applesauce and the mixed veggies and potatoes. That's the fruit and vegetables, but we need some kind of meat. So we're gonna come up with that. So as of right now, I'm gonna like take some of the meat, if you saw from yesterday, some of the rehydrated meat it was dried meat i'm gonna throw cranberries some uh, wild animal fat and some acorn flour in it to well make a good breakfast meal Today's breakfast, like I said, the potatoes, the fruit, and then I put cranberries. I put some uh, seasoning with it, some like southwestern seasoning, and then crisped it up in the pan of the meat. So, breakfast. Right now, Brendan and I are getting ready to heat up some a uh, big pot of squirrels. We're just defrosting. We're not boiling a big pot of squirrels, and Pretty much, we're going to turn all the meat as we can. The rest can be used as a cooking down in what forms of a broth in here. But we're going to make a breakfast sausage using like cranberries and apples and onions from the garden and like sage from the garden using all the different things. And I've had the sausage before and it's fantastic. Also, we have uh, porcupine meat that we're gonna make burger and ground seasoned burger meat out of that. But we're gonna need to defrost that also. So all frozen meats. Now the um, water just came up to boil. So I took it off and I'm gonna let this sit that the squirrels can basically warm up but not cook. The outer layer, uh, like the outer part of the meat is going to look a little bit cooked, but the interior, it's gonna still be raw. So I'm gonna let that uh, sit for a bit. But if you can see real closely, look at all that. I'm gonna cook the broth down on this for a while when it's all done. And look at all that. All those little droplets, that's fat. And that's not like off tasting fat. No, this is good fat. Like imagine like bacon fat. Tastes kind of like that. When the sausage is all done and finished, the breakfast sausage will be fantastic. If you want to start your own wild food videos on YouTube, down in the description below will be the Amazon links to all of the gear that I use to making my videos. And you can do your own videos too. Right now I'm feeling a little bit hungry for some like black walnuts. So I cleaned up a few black walnuts and I'm gonna stick them in the nutcracker right here. So I'm gonna crack them open and chow down on some walnuts. I just tried, well, cracking it with the nutcracker and I need to have that like drilled into a table to hold it in place and with it, not drilled into a table and held in place. I can't use it with the walnuts. So I would need to probably find a place to actually crack stuff with that. But now I gotta actually crack every single one of those nuts by hand with a hammer. It's not as fun. So I separated the nuts. So this is the large shells and this is the nut meat 
with the small shells. So I need to try and get all of the shells out. And I'm going to also use the nuts in the sausage. So I'm gonna, after dealing with them, I'm gonna throw them in the oven, toast them right up just for a couple minutes, and then use them in the sausage. So I got uh, the walnuts all separated. So maybe like a third of a cup of walnuts I got out of it. There was a lot of little pieces that, um, with hammering it, got smashed and they're hard to pick out at that point with all the shells that are smashed too. So that's pretty hard to work with. But all this is going into the sausage. All right guys, I actually have my brown bull head right here that I caught. Uh, I actually caught this on Nightline. So, I'm going to put a little bit of this seafood seasoning. It's almost like Old Bay seasoning. Well, just recently, while I was working on butchering up uh, the squirrel meat for making the sausage, the power went out. I ain't joking with that. But... We do have a generator, if you can listen. And uh, that's just running the fridge and freezer and internet in a way that we can figure out when the power is going to be back on. It's going to be back on probably an hour. So, not that bad, but if it was going to be gone for a while, we're going to need to use the grill or the fire pit in the dark. And in the rain a little bit too. It's raining all day. Okay. Well, the one major thing, if you can see, the lights are back on about an hour early. They're only out for just like probably a, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. Well, Brandon just cooked up this small little catfish. So he deboned it and all the meat that's on the side there, well, that's all the meat. He's going to try it. Try it, bud. What kind of catfish? Brown bullhead. A brown bullhead. Yeah. Never had. Out of our mother's pond. Yeah. Never had before. Yeah. So the lines that he set, that's the one that he caught. It smells like catfish. We're gonna try it, bud. Is it good? Fishy or no? No, it, it tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken? Let me try. Well, here's a piece right here. What the? Tastes like chicken. Yeah, it tastes like chicken, but it's a weird texture. Slimy. Yeah. Tastes like chicken, but it's slimy. Not bad. But I'm gonna have him eat that one because some of the other uh, meats and stuff I can eat, and uh, he has a hard time eating like the rehydrated dry meats. Okay. So Brandon's gonna make something with the acorns. So what are you gonna uh, make? I'm gonna see if I can make from just the wild like this tortillas. Now, so he's gonna I, make tortillas. I make, tor I make fresh tortillas, so. Um, yeah, but he uses just the glutenized flour. Acorn, oh, yeah. <laughs> acorn flour, well, this magical stuff has nothing of gluten in it. It's gluten free, so. A little bit of maple syrup. That's just for because we want sweet. Gray squirrel oil, sea salt. Well, Brandon tried rolling it out and also trying to stick it in the pan. It didn't work, so he's going to just toss it in the oven in this pan uh, and make like a bread. Okay, we're going to try the bread now. And ready? Let's try it. A little salty. That's fine. Not bad. A little dry. Need something to go with it. But not bad. We're gonna eat this with dinner. Well, Brandon is now. What are you about to do, bud? I'm done. He's giving up. 
It, it, it's, it's day two, and um, in terms from like the period of time when we last ate dinner on Saturday, and today is Monday, he's been almost 48 hours, nothing but wild food. Maybe a little bit of seasoning, but it, the rest is all wild food. Uh, I'm going to keep going all the way to next Saturday, but... See if I can last that whole period of time. But, you're done? Yeah. I don't care what anybody says to me, this challenge is actually difficult. For what the gear that we have and my appetite, I just can't do it. So you're done? Yeah. 100% done? Yeah. Okay. Good, uh, good you actually got all this far. Yeah. Well, Brandon's gonna weigh out. Let's see what he weighs. That's his way out. Well, Brandon uh, basically uh, didn't really lose or gain weight at all. He stayed the same, but he does not feel 100% that good at all. So, good job, bud. Hopefully next time you can go longer. I'm gonna keep going, see how long I can go. Now, because I'm still going in the challenge of eating wild food, so I have this morning's sausage uh, game meat kind of stuff there. I got the acorn bread, and then I made a salad with dandelion leaves, dandelion flowers, a little bit of spearmint and chives with a little bit uh, sprinkled of red wine vinegar. So, that's my dinner. Well, I'm gonna be getting ready to go eat dinner, but I'm gonna do my outro now, finish the video. But in, oh, what would be a point to say? If I have lost even more weight, this morning I weighed myself from like yesterday's weight in. I lost basically three pounds, and because I have an analyzing scale, it wasn't water weight, it wasn't muscle weight, it was fat. I lost like three pounds of fat, almost. If I lost even more by tomorrow, uh, like over a pound, I'm, I'm gonna give up too because losing that much, I'm gonna start eventually losing muscle and I don't wanna do that. Um, so, I'm gonna see what's gonna happen in the morning. But I'm going to still keep uh, with the challenge as of right now. So, if you want to see more, go down in the description below. Click the link to my channel or Brennan's channel. Or click the round subscribe button to both of our channels to help both of us get to a thousand subscribers. And next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.